Hello, all the people around the world, and welcome back to another Sly 1 episode. Uh, during the last recording se session, we completed both Tide of Terror and Sunset Snake Eyes. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. So now, we will s continue with Miss Ruby. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, <laughs> Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Vicious Voodoo. Forty percent, yay. Come on. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Nice. <laughs> Oh, only 20? Hmm, I thought it, it would be more. Or there would be more. Come on. Hey, water safety, water safety. Yes. Good thing we got that water safety. I know this battle right there, but if I remember correctly, we will get there soon enough. No shortcuts this time, considering that I need to get all the bottles. Uh, I hate that. Oh, come on. Really? Wait, what? Wasn't there a checkpoint up there? I'm a bit confused now. Okay. I mean, now that just... The thing is that I wonder if there is one more ball there or not. If there isn't, then if I happen to die one more time, then of course I'm gonna do the...
Really? Why can't the cane hit two people at the same time? Or maybe it can, but I'm just a bad. No, I'm not bad, I'm professional. I wanna show off the decoy. Okay, I mean. No, that's not what I wanted. Not that either. Mine fast. I don't know how I could die to that guy so many times. Okay, there was a bottle here still. Huh, I thought there would be a checkpoint around here. Apparently not. I was wrong. Oh, down here there is one. Uh... I know this. I know this is possible. Like that. That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky, or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made, and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. Really? Really? That just happened? Lost bottle. Oh, up, up here. Oh. My throat is a bit so sore because the din them breakfast I just ate. I accidentally put so if too much pepper on it. Right, and I always do my math right. Same. The combination has got to be 588. <laughs> Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. You. Don't mind that. Oh, they move from fast. My Parador 
normal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Lair of the Beast. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Ooh, that was spooky, said Sly. Remember to take all those bottles. Also, make sure you don't miss any of these. And don't miss that one either. But yeah, a lot of pepper on my. I said to put much pepper on my egg and eggs and bacon. So I'm a bit my nose is a bit running. Oh no, I don't have one life more. I'm that. These walls are making me claustrophobic. Whoa! Did you see those reeds move? There's something huge under there. You better get going. Almost missed that one. No, no, no. Don't you dare miss that one. Oh. oh. There isn't any more. Okay, there's the last one. Okay, so they try to move the camera around when running from the monster. Maybe a bit late said, but better late than never. I wonder if it's possible to actually get the key before that scene end. Press the circle eh. to enter the Doesn't matter. Code. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. Uh, four, four, four. Bruce O'Koop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout 
and project guard information into your binoculum. So basically, this is the same as the other two before. The information about the lair, but instead it's more all around. Nice. Ah, because maybe because it's so there are f so few vaults in the uh, in Pancakes place, and there are none in the last one, Clockwork. <laughs> 